Well, I guess, you know, you all saw it coming. Yeah, this is, this is what happens when you don't plan ahead. Or when you do and it all just, you know, craps a bit on you. Well, welcome to another episode of Shed by the Tracks. Uh, figured I'd just say a little something here before we get it rolling. Um, we've had a good summer. Went to uh, several car shows so far. And, uh, of course, Saturday nights on the avenue are always a big hit. But anyways, for the rest of the summer, I think we're going to be concentrating on this bike, and it's probably going to carry us right through the fall and winter, too, because there's plenty to do. Now, for you guys that are here just for the Model T stuff, well, you know, there might be a little something here and there. I've got a few ideas I might want to do to this over the winter, but uh, I hope you fellas aren't disappointed, you know, that, that we won't be concentrating on it as much anymore. But I'm kind of kind of hopped up about this bike, looking forward to maybe having it on the road by, uh, you know, next spring. That'd be great. Uh, you know, I want to get out and ride it. I hear there's a lot of people out there waiting for cornea implants. So, anyways, that's what's going to happen. Uh, we're going to start concentrating on the bike. Like I say, I hope there's not too many of you disappointed by that, you know. And, of course, there'll be some tomfoolery along the way. And, you know, going up to the avenue and and maybe we'll go out and drive around and do some filming and whatnot. And, uh, you know, Mike might come over and Jim might come over and just, you know, whatever happens, happens. You know, most of you guys are out camping anyway. You're never going to see this shit anyhow. So, you know, I'll just, I'll just take you along for a ride. Whatever happens, happens. And hopefully that'll, you know, be worth what you pay for the show, you know. All right, here we go. Onward with the show. Okay. And we're back. Yeah. Um, everything you saw in a previous video concerning these, I took it all apart again. And uh, switched over because I didn't want to have to start cutting wires up here and putting new ends on. But just, no, we're not doing that. So what we'll do here is, I've got a little thing of grease here. Probably the wrong kind of grease. I'm not really caring at this point. I'm just going to smear a little bit around this throttle. I just want it to work nice. And of course, bolt falls out. Why wouldn't it? Um, I don't know if you can see anything I'm doing at all. Or if it really matters, you know? So we put that on there. We gently get that cable down in there. Pull on the other end. Well, maybe that's not how we do it. I think this is a stand-up job. Oh, this is going to be a monkey with a football. I can tell you that right now. Okay, what's the problem here? Hey, hey, what's happening? Okay, well, I, uh, <coughs> let's see, what did I do? 
I repaired a spot here. There's a little clip deal here that holds the top of the headlight. It was all broken off. I repaired it with some JB Weld. We're going to find out if that's going to hold. Uh, just in case, I've got uh, two or three of these headlight buckets in my my uh, shopping cart on eBay. So if this fails us. We'll uh, we'll have a backup plan. I just want to clean this out in here. Just kind of a mess before I slip this back on. A little bit of alcohol here and whatnot. Uh. Oh, I sure like my little stool. Man, right at the right height. So, let's see. Put my glasses there and forget where they are. Yeah, I just want to. I just want to clean this out with all kinds of I found that alcohol works about as good as anything for cleaning stuff up. And it's cheap. And it's so much nicer to, you know, mess around with stuff when it's kind of cleaned up and not so, you know, disgusting. Makes you feel better. Doesn't make the parts any better, but it makes you feel better. Maybe clean these wires off a little bit. I don't know if I'll have to get back in here again or not, but we'll, we'll find out. All right, now, there's two screws that go in this, right here, over here, and I'm not sure what I did with them. <laughs> Ain't that a shocker. Ain't that a shocker. Let me look back here in the, what's left of the toolkit back here. Probably going to take me a while to find those. Might as well shut the camera off. Find my glasses. Here we go. All right. I found a selection of screws here. Probably not the right ones. But let's see what we got. See if it'll work. Look good. I don't think they're the right ones. More than likely the threads are different. Dang! Always put your screws where you know where you can find them. Dag nabbit. <laughs> yeah. Let's try something else. Okay, well. Went in the house and got my secret stash of uh, metric garbage. Let's see if we can find some that'll fit this, you know, since I lost the other ones. Uh, let's see. You can tell people, yeah, I watched this uh, YouTube show, really interesting today. I watched him sort through a box of screws. Eh, is that the right size? No. I think what I need might be in this area here. Ah, I recognize these as ceiling fan screws. I only need one more over here. Is there a possibility that, that one right there is the right screw? Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> ho, ho, ho. Man. I just don't like, I just don't like that at all, but what are you going to do? You know, that's the way they designed it. Big massive wad of garbage here to work around. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Nope. Never. Now what do we do? I think we need to go back after the starter and see what is screwing that up. We might as well know. I know it's not going to be good news. But, you know, so what? Again, this just makes me feel better when this is cleaner. <laughs> what a waste of time. All right. Let's reconfigure here. We'll regroup and we're going to we're going to go after this thing and see why this Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, I'm back. Had some stuff I had to go do. Uh, we figured out that these handlebars have to be grounded for any of this stuff to work. Now, here's the deal. I don't know how they were grounded in a stock manner, but uh, I figure a ground is a ground, right? So, I'm going to put something down here on the bottom of these risers and some kind of a cable to the to the forks, the front business here, and that'll ground it out. I mean, I wish I knew how the stock configuration was, how it worked, but I don't, so I'm just going to do it my way. So... I'll show you that when I'm done, or when I find what I'm going to work with here. All right, I uh, came up with my own ground strap. I don't know if you can see up in there or not. Maybe if I have a light here, you can see it comes off the riser thing. Right there's where it hooks on. Goes down, comes around here, and hooks onto the back of the uh, horn mount. And that grounds all this business with uh, the handlebars. So, the test will be if the starter switch works. So we'll turn the key on. We've got, got some juice there, we've got juice there. Alright! What's this do? Oh, that turns the headlight on and off. Okay. Over here. We still got still got issues. I gotta take this all apart and clean everything on it. But uh well, tail light works. So does this work when it's in that position? No, it does not. Works in this position. Now, now that we have this all put together, the next thing is going to be the starter. Uh, yeah. 
Don't know anything about that. We're going to find out. Jumping and thumping, sounds good. Get us the hell out of here. Ah, uh, whoops, did I say that out loud? Sorry. We are grounded. Everything functions. You know, well, you know, starter spins and doesn't do anything, but we're small victories, okay? Uh, headlight works. <laughs> Horn works. New fuse box is in. Shut that off for a run the battery down. Got the throttle. Doing throttly stuff. And uh, got the other grip on. Uh, I think it's just about time to. Uh, Boy, does that stick out there like that? That didn't hardly seem right. Oh well. Um, just about time to find out why this starter isn't startering. Startering? Yeah. Uh, I think I'm at least going to take the top off so I can see what I'm dealing with. And, you know, find out it's just broken, get depressed, and go in the house. Typical day. Okay, I don't know if you can see in there or not. It appears to me that that plate has to come off of there. Boy, that couldn't... That couldn't be more in the way. I really don't think so. Oh, is it possible I could get so lucky that this just comes off of here and I can figure out what's going on? Could I get so lucky? Man, it's getting a little bit hot out here. Well, yeah, I'll never see that again. That one's in China. That's the starter. That's the starter cover. That's the broken starter cover gasket. Here it is, buddy. It all holds that piece of crap in there, huh? Well, I don't know. Them tens, everything else is tens. That cover will make a good thing to put bolts in and flip it upside down and you know lose them all over the place. Whoa! All this does is make heat. That's all that light does. I'm going to use my little thingamabob here. I wonder if this will come up out of there with, you know, with the carbs and all that. Probably not. Oh, supposed to rain tonight, as usual. Um, let's see, what else don't you need to know while I unscrew this bolt? Boy, that's a long bolt. I think one of the wheels is going to fall off when I get it out of there. The way I understand it, just by looking at parts catalogs, uh, where's my rag? Um, there's some kind of ratchety thing hooked to, hooked to the starter. And that they sell replacement parts, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say they quit and break. Why can't I 
get that to turn. Why? I might as well just take these carbs off because they've had them off the previous guy that, you know, did the improvements on the bike. There we go. And I know nothing about these carbs. Absolutely zero. I couldn't know less about them. Um, hang on, I gotta think about this.
Uh, let's see. There we go. Too much light. There we go. Uh, yesterday we started in on this. And uh, we had some success. And then, as you can probably tell once I get over here, things things escalated quickly and uh, I'm trying to get that off to get the starter out um, what do I want to say about that uh, I guess there's really not a whole lot to say about it um, it whoa it must be done I mean you can start this bike without a starter obviously it's got a kickstart but you know I'm trying to get it back the way it was when it was new you know or not when it was new how do I want to say it I want everything to function okay um, so we're gonna see what we can do here uh, I don't know how much of this I'm gonna film because it's it gets really sweary out here uh, you know to the point of being embarrassing and uh, the added attraction today is uh, my back's all out of whack so you know there's that uh, we'll see what we can do Well, I guess, you know, you all saw it coming. Yeah, this is, this is what happens when you don't plan ahead. Or when you do and it all just, you know, craps a bit on you. So, but I did get that moved around. And, uh, the stand here is going to make life much as much as easier. So, let me finish cleaning up my mess. I'll just put you on the stand so you can watch me. Son of a gun, boy. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to edit out quite the little tirade when that tipped over. Yep. As far as swearing's concerned, I may have broken new ground when that happened. Okay. This, where's my finger? This rear cover has to come off before that cover will come off. I figured that much out, I think. And of course, you know, all the screws on there, they're tighter than the hubs of hell. Because, you know, that's how we put things back together. You know, if, if, uh, you didn't have to work around everything everybody else did, working on stuff would be a lot easier. So there, that's, I'm done. That's my rant. Now I got to get some, uh, get something that fits in them things a little better than what I've been using because, you know, of course they don't have the right size. Uh, yeah, I'll be back. Well, I got a few minutes before my friend Jim comes over. 
We're going to set out there and, you know, throw rocks at passing children. So, I thought, well, I'll just sit here and try to clean some of this up. Heavenly days. Goodness gracious. show you what we're dealing with here. This is pretty grimy. All over in there. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and take this out of here and then I can take the cover off and uh, match up the screws with it. And I can get in there better. I don't know if you can see or not. Are we recording? Uh, let me zoom you in there a little bit. When I took this apart, the gear on the starter motor was off and laying in the bottom of the side cover. This piece was off, the little kind of tensioner, I guess you'd call it. Uh, chain was laying there. I can't see any damage in there, but I don't know what holds this gear on, if anything. So I'm just going to kind of think about that for a while while I uh, clean all this area up. So that's that's basically what I'm going to be doing. I don't know what you can see and what you can't see. Yeah, good enough. <clears throat> yeah. But man, there is a lot of a lot of gross stuff down in here. I need Dean the cleaning machine. Forty some years of garbage in there. I don't know if that's a wire or what that is. I need something better than that. I need I need to find something scrapey, you know, like a scraper. That'd work. Well, I decided I'd 
just bring stuff down here and try to clean up. There's so many crevices and stuff in there. This guy just can't just can't get at it all. We'll see if this thing will if the car wars will take care of it. That's a little better, I guess. It's not what I hoped for. I mean, you know, there's so many crevices and stuff in there. It's just so hard to get that crap out of there. Well, it's better. That one's better. This one's better. I got some crap on the side there to get off yet. But we'll get her. Go home. don't look too awful bad. Man, there's a lot of gunk in there. Forty some years of gravel, uh, raccoon guts, you name it in there. So yeah, we'll get it back back on here. I just Stuck that gear back on there. I don't see. Hang on. I just stuck that gear back on there. Uh, it's got a spline on it, but I don't see any way that it is held on there. So maybe just the chain and stuff keeps it there. I don't know. I can't find anything on a diagram either. 
that's enough for today. Well, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the show, there's going to be whoa, just about fell off, fell off the horse here. Uh, it's going to be a lot of bike stuff, and I hope you car guys don't find that boring. But you know, <laughs> at the rate YouTube takes uh, subscriptions away from me, is it really going to matter? No, no. I'm looking at the bike right now and it's a shambles, so we are committed, very committed. Uh, I figure another 9 to 15 months of cleaning and it'll be time to actually start working on it. Yeah, man. Next time we'll be back on the bike, probably have some First Avenue stuff, this, that and the other thing. Let's see, when you see this it'll be almost September. Can you believe that? Man, the summer goes by fast. Uh, well, after 50, the life goes by fast. So, you guys that are under 50, enjoy it. So after that, it's light speed to the dirt nap. Okay. I appreciate you all tuning in. As always, I just can't thank you all enough. I mean, like I always say, not very many of us, but everybody that needs to be here is. Uh, you know, if you can maybe find some friends that, you know, you can give me the okay on, that you can trust. You know, you can turn them on to the show, that's okay. But other than that, you know, I want to keep this a secret. Which, keeping this channel a secret has probably been the most successful thing I've done. Yeah, come to think of it. Man. Okay. Uh feel like chipping in there's a way to throw your good money after bad and give it to me I'll go out and waste it for you it'll save you gas yeah all right down in the down in the uh, descriptions uh, link to the PayPal donation you know, just like being in church you know the plate comes around so, you know what I should be doing I should be trying to just scare the hell out of you because you know that's the way the church makes money, is uh, scaring a guy, and when that plate comes around, and you've got, you know, sweet by and by on this side, and uh, eternal damnation on this side, well, makes you want to throw in a couple extra quarters, don't it? So, maybe I'll try that next time. I don't. I'm just rambling now. I'll see y'all later. Bye.